Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK and in today's video we're talking about the Black Magic Da Vinci Resolve, the new version of Resolve that has just been announced at the NAB 2019 and this app actually packs a punch, it comes in with a lot of features and a couple of updates and I'm gonna go through the ones that actually impresses me a lot. There is just a lot of things that you need to find out for yourselves, link is gonna be in the description so you go ahead and check them out yourself. The very first one that is a huge huge uh feature that they talked about they actually marinated this a lot is the cut page there is now a cut page and this cut page has a dual timeline which simply means you don't need to stretch your timeline all the way from the beginning to the end to actually find a very tiny part of your clip you can just see the overall thing on the top bar and you can you know scroll through your entire timeline back and forth there is also a fast preview which simply means you don't need to play your videos and just sit down there for the next two hours to watch them play this is automatic it has some sort of ai built inside that when it gets to a very long clip it just fast forwards and plays through it real quick and for slower clips it calculates and just plays those slow clip right real good and within the cut page, you can now also have ability to retime, stabilize your shots directly in the cut page. And this cut page was actually made for people who wants to turn out clips like real quick. So instead of spending all that time trying to figure out where the clip is, how to cut the clip, you can just pack all those things in one place. Preview them as timeline if you want to preview them, preview them as thumbnails, or maybe just preview them with details. Depending on what you want to do, you can make your entire clip directly there. You can even export the clip directly there. Amazing feature and it makes a lot of sense to actually see that this is coming to resolve. Next big thing that stood out for me is the multi-resolution support and also the multi-frame rate support. So you can have multiple frame rates and you can uh, edit them at the same time in the same project. So you don't necessarily need to save one project for this, one project for the other one. You can do every single thing in the same project. So you can have your Instagram videos, your Facebook videos, you can edit all of them right there in the same project within the same timeline it makes a lot of sense the next big thing for me is the adjustment layers or the adjustment clip like it's called here so you already know how you have adjustment clip in things like um premiere pro and after effect yes those adjustment layers or the adjustment clips have now made their way to Resolve. And you'll be wondering how were people actually using Resolve before. Resolve has a node, and so with a node, you can simply do anything you want to do. But I think this will be very beneficial for a lot of people, especially people moving away from Premiere Pro or maybe Final Cut and making their way to Resolve. So it's something that will bring them inwards. Or probably if you're a very layer-based uh, editor, then this would make a lot of sense for you. Another big thing that actually stood out for me is the ability to remove objects. And so just not long ago, we saw that the guys at Adobe actually demoed something with After Effects being able to clean out stuff. And that was like a long project ago, what they call it Project Clock which was demoed like a few years ago. But then this is not the first time I've actually seen this happen. There is a software that does that like right from the very, very beginning. And it is called ProDad. So with ProDad, you can easily take out any unwanted object from your video files or maybe from your clips. And this has been existing for a very, very long time. And it's very surprising and yet refreshing to see that these guys are actually implementing this now. Either ways, it makes a lot of sense. And now let's move on to the next big thing that they also announced. There is a frame IO integration that is built directly into DaVinci Resolve 16. And what this means is if you're working with frame IO, or maybe if in case you don't even know what frame IO is, frame IO is a web based platform where you can, you know, uh, share, give comments, review videos, and, you know, get a back and forth. Uh, teamwork sort of thing happening with your video files and now directly in resolve you can save directly to frame io you can also give feedback directly in resolve you can make those edits cuts and still send it directly to the cloud this makes a lot of sense because a lot of people that work with frame io get to export the file then now upload the file then now put a tag on the file all of those things you know it cuts away a huge chunk of the process and it makes a lot of sense if you're into frame io then you have a good uh thing going on for you Another feature that was announced is the face recognition. Now, the face recognition makes sense because now you can 
uh, identify the faces of every single character that exists in your shot. You can group them. You can, you know, just have them all stacked out. So just in case you're trying to edit, in most situations, you might have been looking for one particular clip. But with the face recognition, it's easier to know where this clip is, if it's exactly in your bin, if it exists within the project, or maybe if you've totally lost it. Next up is the auto color balance and matching what does this mean you can now automatically color your images and you can automatically balance the images from what i understand how this works is it is going to analyze the clips which you've actually worked on before and it's going to use the color information on those clips to automatically balance this new one which you actually have selected so this would definitely reduce work time so contrary to other apps where you have to balance each clip one after the other or how you could do it before this would actually cut down a lot of time now speaking about balancing colors there is a new rematch color feature that now exists in resolve 16 instead of going ahead to try as much as possible to fix the color just select that clip and select the clip which you want to rematch and automatically you would rematch that color as it gets there is a lot of filters that has been added to this. There is also a cut through, a dissolve filter, and there is also another filter that was added to the cut page. Let, now, let me just quickly talk about that one because I felt I was going to forget that quickly. And what happens is, you know how you have your images and you can get a cut, uh, a quick cut. So instead of having that quick cut, what happens is there is a, a sort of a dissolve filter that has been added right so it's not necessarily dissolve and it's not necessarily wrap it's in between wrapping and dissolving so it gives a smooth transition from whatever uh, clip which you have selected to the next clip so from your previous clip to the next clip there is much more of a smoother transition that happens and if you take a very close look at this too you'll get to see that there is a wrapping and also a dissolving effect that is happening once this transition is applied and you can always take it out and you know put it back in depending on what you want to do so Resolve has also added a couple of filters, a lot more filters than they had before. They've also enhanced the previous filters that was existing. So you can go ahead and play with them right now and see for yourself. Speaking about things that you can play with, Fairlight itself has gotten a lot of work over. So there's a lot of things coming to Fairlight. The Elastic Wave is one of them. Timeline Boss is also one of them. And the guys at Blackmagic has also promised that there is a new Foley Sound library that is available that you can make use of. I have not been able to find that, but hopefully it's going to be out there soon. Or maybe it's actually there. I have not been able to find that out. If you have, or maybe if you know where it is, please put the link in the comment section and I'll be very grateful to check it out. Also, other things that has been... Uh, enhance when it comes to Fairlight is they've also enhanced the loudness so you can now match your loudness based on region or based off other clips that you have. The clip attributes itself has also gotten a couple of work over. There's now monitoring that exists directly in Fairlight. You can also see your uh, your audios in 3D and maybe see how the bounce these are things that you would really wish to see in audition but now you can find them in fairlight directly in davinci resolve now uh, speaking about davinci resolve one more time you might have been wondering what about fusion what's going on in fusion there is no big uh feature that is coming to fusion in davinci resolve 16 but the thing is the workflow is now way better the tools are, are set to be more improved and faster and one of them that which they talked about is the tracking so they say the tracking infusion is way better the rendering capabilities is also super super clean so i would like you guys to go ahead go over to black magic download a copy of this try it against what you have right now if you're using premiere you're using final cut whatever software you're using i would like you to download the public beta and try it out for yourself and see if it works for you and see probably if you want to move from whatever app you're using right now into DaVinci Resolve. It's an open beta, so it simply means that there is definitely uh, going to be some tools that might not really work according to what you want. 
And yes, this is about it. I would like to know what feature you're most excited about in the comment section below. Links are all going to be in the description. So in case you want to find out where to download them, how to get these things and, and all that stuff. Links will be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, simply give it a like. And don't forget to share with your friends. And if you're new here, it would be amazing if you can just smash that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know once we upload a new video. And until I see you guys again with the review, tutorial, update, free friday tips and tricks things like this peace